now let's do this. And here we go, Kaboom is running. We've got this uh, transparent background that Kaboom uses. Welcome back to Arcade, I am Super Tommy. And in this video, we're gonna look at setting up a project from scratch, complete scratch, just an empty folder using Kaboom JS. We're gonna use VS Code, Parcel Bundler to uh, bundle our code and launch our dev server. And we're gonna use NPM to set all of this up. So with VS Code and making your Kaboom JS game in VS Code, you can get some of the nice code complete, the code help, the um, the IntelliSense that you get from VS Code. So you can see what properties exist on a component config or what functions exist um, from the Kaboom context to help you make uh, games much more easier or much more easily in Kaboom JS. Now before we start, be sure to hit like on this video if you like what you see and subscribe for more videos on game development with Kaboom JS and other web technologies. All right, so we're gonna start here in this empty, empty folder. Now, before we start, make sure that you have VS Code installed. This is the main editor, code editor IDE that we're gonna use. And make sure that you have Node.js, NPM, and Parcel Bundler installed. So if you need help with that, go to the Arcade GitHub, that's github.com slash arcade, and find our Phaser 3 Parcel template where we're doing a very simple thing, a very similar thing um, as we're gonna do here. Now, Parcel is probably the easiest code bundler to use, in our opinion at least. There are newer ones uh, like Snowpack and Vite, which are also pretty awesome. So let me know in the comments below if you wanna see a video on setting it up with Snowpack or Vite. They're a bit more modern um, than Parcel is, but Parcel is still very easy to use. So you need to want Node.js and NPM installed. Now for that, we recommend using Node Version Manager. So that's NVM that exists on the Mac and for Windows. So there are some instructions that you can find here on the Arcade GitHub for the Phaser 3 template. So we're gonna use a very similar thing here. So make sure you've got Node installed, install NVM, and then install Parcel, parcel with this NPM install global, that's dash G, parcel bundler. So make sure that you have all that running. Let me move over here. So if you do have all that running in your terminal here, um, you'll be able to see like, click here, parcel, uh, maybe dash dash version, will give us the version of parcel that we're running. So that's 1.12.5. So now make sure you have all that set up before you begin here, because you're gonna need node installed, NPM um, and parcel. Okay, so once you have all that installed, first thing you wanna do is go into your empty uh, folder so in our case, we named it Kaboom Parcel JavaScript. So it could be whatever game project you're working in. Then do npm init to start. And you're gonna be asked a bunch of questions. Uh, let me collapse this. Like, is in all these things okay? Package name, um, we're just gonna hit enter on all these. You can put different things, version, description, entry point, test, uh, GitHub repository, keywords, author, all this stuff. We're just gonna go okay. We're gonna use the default here. You can put in whatever you want. Now, once we have that, let's install Kaboom. So let's go npm install, not nom, npm install Kaboom. And it's gonna now install Kaboom, awesome. So let's look at our project here. Now we've got uh, two files and one folder. That's our, that's our, the folder is our node modules folder. That's where all of our um, uh, external dependencies come from, including Kaboom.js. So we look here, you see Kaboom is the only thing in here currently, so uh, VS Code is auto-expanding that. So we have Kaboom added there. Here's our package.json, and you see, right, this is just a bare-bones package.json. All right, now let's go back to our project here. Let's make a source folder. I like to keep all our code in a source folder. Now let's make an index.html file. And our index.html file, let's close that. Um, just very simple, let's go HTML, let's give it a head, title, not title, uh, let's just call it my game. And then we want a body in our HTML. And in this body, we want a script tag. The script tag is gonna be the um, entry point to our, well, this index file, it's gonna be the entry point into our app, but the script tag is entry point into our JavaScript code. Um, that's where all our Kaboom code is gonna be. So let's go script source, and we can just do main.js, like that, close that script tag. 
So now we're gonna make this main.js file. So let's come here in source, make another file. Let's call it main.js. So now that we have uh, Kaboom installed and we have our index file, we can do import Kaboom from Kaboom. Now you'll see VS Code's already gonna give us some help here telling us what this Kaboom function is that, we have, that we're importing from the Kaboom library. And you can see this thing uh, basically bootstraps your Kaboom game and returns you a Kaboom context. That's what you normally use or you see in Kaboom where you do um, like, you know, k.add. Uh, stuff like that. So actually, here's the example, right? So this is that kaboom function. So what we want here, import, uh, not import. So we just do kaboom like that. So we have kaboom here. Uh, that's going to create our game. Now we need to actually run it. So let's go to package JSON here and do, and let's actually format this to tabs format. All right, let's add a start script in our package.json. So this is we we can do npm run whatever the name of our script is. In this case, we're calling it start. And for parcel, we do parcel source index.html. That is the entry point to our app. I'm going to give it a different port here. We like to use port 8000. And so that's dash p. Just give it a port. Now in our terminal here, if we do npm run start, now start is just the name of the script, which we said right here, npm run start, enter. Now parcel is gonna do what it needs to do to set it up and it's done. So now let's go to localhost 8000 and it didn't work. So there is something we're missing if you're using parcel and we're trying to run Kaboom here. Let's go to inspect to see what the problem might be. Uh, let's go to our console, and we see we have an error here. Oh, that's the filtering. So it says um, this type error, kaboom.default. So what's happening here is if we look at in node modules, we've got kaboom.js here. We've got three different um, distributions of kaboom. There's the CJS for common JS. There's the normal.js, that's for the browser. And then we have MJS, which is the module format or the new, more modern JavaScript uh, ES, uh, ES6 and higher. That's for module JS. Um, so what we want is to actually import kaboom.mjs into our project and not kaboom.js. Now, the way kaboom is telling um, different uh, bundlers like Parcel and Webpack or Rollup or whatever you were using, what to use is in this exports uh, key here in their package JSON, but uh, Parcel doesn't actually know how to read that. So what we're going to do is add an alias. So let's go to Parcel here, um, and you can see just if you want to use it to get started. But let's do a search here. There's a function feature called alias in Parcel. If you're using a different bundler, um, you probably have something similar. So alias right here. So we want to add an alias so that parcel will take the correct file when it um, uh, imports Kaboom. Let's close Kaboom's package.json so we don't confuse. Come over here, so add alias, and now we want Kaboom. Now we have it in, so the path, so we give it a key, that's the name of the, of the module, in our case Kaboom, and then the path to the file we wanted to use. Uh, dist, and then we want kaboom.mjs. Boom. All right. So now we, uh, it's not going to quite work yet. If I go here, you'll see it's still, still not going to work. So we're going to actually stop our, stop our dev server, and we want to delete the cache. So, you know, pa uh, parcel is fast because uh, it has a cache to help it be faster. So we delete this cache. And then now let's do npm run start. It's gonna rebuild the cache, and basically I think it's gonna take Kaboom uh, from node and, and put it in cache. So now let's do this, and here we go. Kaboom is running. We've got this uh, transparent background that Kaboom uses. So let's real quick here set up a very basic scene. Let's go to main. And let's see, so now we see that we're in VS Code, we're gonna get some code help. So let's go and do control uh, space. So there, these are all the various properties we can put into this conf file, this, this uh, conf object, this configuration object 
uh, when we're bootstrapping Kaboom. So let's use clear color. That's just going to be the color of the uh, background of the uh, canvas of uh, Kaboom. And let's make it black. So black is going to be the absence of color. Boom. And now we can do K. So this is the Kaboom context. And from there we can do, you know, K dot scene. As you see, it's helping me out, telling me what I can actually do on this K um, variable. Uh, you know, K dot start. Right, and uh, let's go here, K dot add. Right, it's, it's much easier to code when you can actually see what you can use. Uh, K dot text. Let's just say hello world. Hello kaboom. Hello kaboom. Uh, let's say this size, 32. Uh, k dot, say position, so k dot width, k dot height, k dot color. Let's make it a, uh, make it a different color. Uh, let's see. So now you can also see there's three overrides for this color component, or there's three signature overrides. And so there's nothing. So I think some some sort of default color. There's give it a color or you pass in a red, green, blue, and alpha value. So we're just gonna make this uh, white, and white is the, is all the colors. And then last thing, let's just do an origin, uh, and call it center, save. And then we should have, there we go, hello, kaboom, rendered to our uh, canvas here. So it's running this main scene. And we did it all with help from VS Code. All right, so that's setting up your Kaboom JS project to run locally on your computer so that you can use VS Code and NPM to, to uh, bootstrap that together. Um, if you enjoyed this video, do hit like for more videos on making games with Kaboom.js. Subscribe to this channel.